All right, I'm going to show you the Microsoft Bot Framework. So Microsoft has done a great job creating a new framework for building bots that can communicate intelligently and deliver contextual conversation uh, <clears throat> driven user interface experiences. Very cool stuff. So to get started, uh, they have this great little website and you need to download a couple things. First thing that you need is uh, if you go to the documentation and you look under Get Started with Connect, uh, under the .NET framework here, you see that you just need to download the uh, Visual Basic and the Community Edition works just fine. Uh, they also have a little project right here that you can download which you place into your uh, typically this path right here. So, you know, it's Visual Studio 2015 slash template slash project templates Visual C Sharp. This is a C Sharp. So now <clears throat> when you do that, you're just going to deploy the application and uh, you can start this emulator up and then you start up uh, this, uh, you, you, you basically start your application. I'll show you in a minute. Then you run this chat emulator software, which gives you like a local sort of uh, interface to work with this guy. And from there you can actually, if you want to, it's not required, but I've done this, publish it to Azure. Uh, app service and you can actually publish it to some uh, Azure app that you just generate. Uh, from that you get a credential which you can then take your credential, plug it back into your emulator here and you can actually chat with your bot in Azure. But from there you can actually do things like hook the bot up to this uh, register your bot and you can actually, and I've done this too, it's very nice, you just, you can you can set it up to where you have this registered bot and then you can give it a profile picture and you can connect it to channels. So they have like Facebook, Messenger, Skype, Slack, email, there's a direct API, a number of things. So, you know, this thing, the first time you hook this thing up, uh, I'll show you what it does. It's very simple. So, you know, this little one little page of documentation is just a, a tiny piece of the stock, but let's just start with it. So we, we come in here and we're going to get a new project. We're going to choose C, Visual C Sharp bot application. Let's go ahead and just generate that guy real quick. So the first thing that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and create the project there. And in a minute, it should be um, installing. While that's going on, I'm going to install this uh, bot, uh, this um, <clears throat> emulator. So to get to the emulator, let me just pop over to my downloads real fast and execute the emulator download. So, you know, it's going to run this little installer real quick and it's just going to install the emulator onto my computer while, you know, while it's running in the background and it's just, it's not going to ask me for, I'll show you this, the bot framework emulator. So I got here by going down to this portion of the page and talking about the emulator, read about it here, came here. Now this emulator supposedly even works on Ubuntu. I haven't tried it there, I should. Um, and they, they're demonstrating here with visual code, not not Visual Studio, just Visual Studio code, whatever. So it's, it just you know goes to show you that you don't need anything really crazy to be able to use this emulator and to be able to do stuff with your bot. You can use Linux for that and, and you can also use Microsoft, although Visual Studio Community Edition is great. Now from, uh, from here, this emulator, is now apparently running. So it's going to ask me, you know, it says, okay, what's my endpoint URL? And I might pick an endpoint URL there. What's my app ID? Well, I don't have this, this bot up and running yet. So now here I've got it deployed. So we can take a look at just a couple of things. Uh, if we open up this web.config, then we would actually see the app ID and the app password, which if we go into our emulator, app ID and app password. Now in this case, there is none specified, so we're not gonna use one, and we're just gonna go ahead and also just show you under controllers, uh, messages controllers. This is sort of a very important file, and um, it, it really contains essentially like what will happen. So what this says is that, okay, pick up this message, take it, and if you get it, uh, then reply back and say, you sent, this message, which was this many length and characters. So what this thing should do is it should, you should say hi, and it should say you sent hi, which was two characters. Okay, so let's just see if we can get to this guy. So 
Um, oh, of course, we're not going to be able to uh, connect because it's not started. Now we click the start and it builds. From here, it's just going to go ahead and build and we're going to get a, uh, a little thing. 3979 is our port number. And so it says connect to local hosts, you know, connect there. So uh, we need to open up our little bot guy here and let's take a look at our app settings emulator port is fine um, but this port is not so we actually want to change this port let's see if i can yeah to 3979 so we have 39 let's just make sure this is 79 all right refresh Okay, and let's just try to see if we get a connection now. You s okay, so now I said hi, and it said you sent hi, which was two characters. So my bot is actually responding here. And I mean, this is this is coming from here. So, you know, these couple of CPU hits here, you know, it's running. And now, you know, I could actually take this in its current state and just deploy it to Azure. And then if I did that, then I would end up with a little chat bot, which I will go ahead and show you. Okay, so um, what I've got here is I've got my bot and I'm just gonna say, hello there, how are you today? And it should um, reply back with, if it's online, it should, yes. You sent hello there, how are you today, which was 29 characters. So now this isn't running in Azure. It's just straight from this code right here. I just did that other step of deploying it to Azure, which I won't go through in this video right now how to do per se, but it's very easy. It's in a documentation and you can see it's all it's doing is it's just using this context here and it's essentially returning back that. So this is that's how you do a basic deployment of a bot uh, and how you create it. And um, there is, of course, an entire API on this stuff that Microsoft has developed. It's underneath uh, their GitHub here under the Microsoft Bot Builder. And in here, there's a couple of examples. I'm going to go through those, not in this video, but in another one. And these examples have all these other bots. So they have Alarm Bot, Echo Bot, Pizza Bot. So instead of saying, um, you know, you sent hi, which was two characters, for example, the Echo Bot might just say hi right back to you and echo what you said. Um, the pizza bot lets you like order a pizza and takes contextual information about your order and, and stuff. Um, the, uh, it tracks the, you know, the alarm bot tracks the time, uh, in, and, and things. So, you know, the, there is, uh, <clears throat> there's this whole entire set of documentation and, um, uh, it's important to review because it kind of talks about the structure of everything that goes on. So, if we go into like dialogues and we go into like the echo bot, it's kind of, you know, it's giving us all of this, all of the kind of like basic code that we would want to wire in there. So it might say, okay, you need to kind of take the original code and, you know, wire a few lines of code into it, or you can just use the one that they already have. So uh, thank you for watching this and I uh, hope you enjoy other videos. I'm Brandon Cross from Node, signing off.